Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the average of marks obtained by 120 candidates in a certain examination is 35. If the average marks of past candidates is 39 and that of the failed candidates is 15, find the number of candidates who passed the examination. So what is the given question? So there are 120 candidates and the average of 120 candidates is 35. So 120 is the number of students and 35 is the average. So some of the students have passed and some of the students have failed. So the average of passed students is given it is 39 and the average of failed students is also given it is 15. You have to find out the number of passed students. The average is given the total average is given the total of passed students and the sorry not the total, the average of past students and the average of failed students is also given and the total average is also given. You have to find out the number of candidates who have passed the examination. So here a combination is coming. When the past students and the, face and the failed students are added together, you will be getting the total number of students. And the averages are given. Averages of the average of the past students, average of the failed students and the total average is given. So when such a situation comes, you can think about the principle of allegation to be applied here. Whenever a combination comes, whenever a total comes, whenever two things are combining together to form a total, you can think about the principle of allegation. So here what is happening? The average of past students 39 and the average of failed candidates 15. When they are combined together, you will be getting the Total average, the total average is also given, it is 35. So, this is how you can write the formula. The 39, the average of the past candidates and the average of the failed candidates, when combined together, you will be getting the total average. So, that is also given 35. So, you can apply the principle of allegation. So, what is the difference between 39 and 35? It is 4. The difference between 35 and 15 is 20. So, the ratio, ratio is given as 20 is to 4. If you are having any doubt means you can uh, refer to the previous, uh, previous videos on allegation and mixtures. So, that is the first playlist in allegation and mixtures. A detailed description on different types of questions are given. So, you will be getting a clear understanding. So, the ratio is given x is to y. If here x and here y, y means the ratio will be given as x is to y is equal to 20 is to 4. That is the basic principle of allegation. Once you are writing the equation like this 39 and 15 combined together, you will be getting 35. So, you find the difference between 39 and 35 and you find the difference between 20 and 15 and then you will be getting x and y. If x, x is coming here and y is coming, uh, coming here means x by y will be equal to 20 by 4 or x by y will be equal to 5 by 1. So, what is our question? We have to find out x. x is what is asked. What is the number of past candidates? So, you are required to find out x. So, x will be equal to 5 divided by 6 into total number of candidates is given. It is 120. So, 5 by 6 into 120 which gives you 5 into 20 which is equal to 100. So, 100 is the total number of candidates. So, by using the principle of allegation, you can easily find this answer within seconds. Second question, the average salary of the entire staff in an office is Rs 120 per month. The average salary of offices is Rs 460 and that of clerical staff is Rs 110. The number of offices is 15. Find the number of clerical staff in the office. So, what is the given question? The average salary of the entire staff in the office is given. It is rupees 120. So, rupees 120 is the average salary of the entire staff. And the average salary of offices is given. The entire staff is consisting of offices and clerk. There are both offices and clerical staff. And for offices, the average salary is rupees 460. And for clerical staff, it is rupees 110. So, here also. There is a total, total is the total average salary of the uh, average salary in the total office. It is also given it is 120 and the average salary of offices is given, average salary of the clerical staff is given. So, here also you can use the principle of allegation. So, when 
the average salary of officers and the average salary of clerical staff when these two are combined together you will be getting the average salary of the total number of staff so from there you will be finding out the ratio of the number of officers to the number of clerical staff so here if it is x and here if it is y means the difference between these two the difference between these two can be written here and the difference between total average and the clerical average will be written here and x is to y will be equal to the first difference is to second difference so that is how you can use the principle of allegation so here what will come 460 is the officer's average and the clerical average is 110 when these two are combined together you are getting 120 120 is the office average and the number of clerical staff is what you have to find out the number of offices is already given it is 15 so here it is 15 you have to find out what is the number of clerical staff so what is the difference between 120 and 110 it is 10 and the difference between 460 and 120 is equal to 390 sorry 340 340 is the difference between 460 and 120 so our ratio is 1 is to 34 1 is to 34 for every officer there are 34 clerical staff so what is the number of clerical staff x x is equal to 34 into 15 15 is the number of offices so the number of clerical staff will be equal to 34 into 15 which is equal to 510 question number 3 the average of 20 numbers is 15 and the average of first 5 is 12. Find the average of the rest of the numbers. So 20 numbers average is given. 20 numbers average is equal to 15. And also for first 5, first 5 average is also given. It is 12. You have to find out the average of the rest of 15 numbers. Average of rest. That is what you have to find out. So average of the 15 numbers is what you have to find out the average of first five numbers is given and the total average is also given you have to find out the average of the rest of the 15 numbers so how to do this here also you can apply the principle of allegation whenever the total average is given here the total average is given total average of the 20 numbers is given and the average of the five numbers is also given so it is average of five numbers and average of 15 numbers when they are combined together you will be getting the average of 20 numbers then when you are applying when you are finding out the difference between the average of 20 and 15 here and the average of 20 and 5 here if you are finding out the difference this difference okay only positive quantity will be written here so difference between 20 average of 20 numbers and average of 15 numbers and the difference between average of 20 numbers and average of 5 numbers you will be finding out and thus you will be getting the ratio between the here the ratio is already given you are, you, are, you are knowing the numbers here 5 and here 15 so 1 is to 3 will be the different will be the ratio of these two the difference ratio will be equal to 1 is to 3 or it will be equal to 5 is to 15 so from there you will be finding out the average of the rest of the numbers ok let us apply here so what is average of 5 numbers it is equal to 12 and let the average of 15 numbers is equal to x that is what you have to find out and the total average the average of 20 numbers is equal to 15 so 15 will come here what is the difference between 15 and 12 it will be equal to 3 and 15 or x which is greater 12 and a number when combined together you are getting 15 so x should be greater than 15 so x x minus 15 x minus 15 will come here and what is the ratio here it is 5 numbers and here it is 15 numbers so x minus 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 by 15 which gives you x minus 15 is equal to 1 or x is equal to 16. So 16 is the average for the rest of the numbers. One more question. In a school with 600 students the average age of the boys is 12 years and that of the girls is 11 years. If the average age of the school is 11 years and 9 months find the number of girls in the school so average age of boys is given average age of boys is equal to 12 years and average age of girls is also given it is equal to 11 years the average of total students average age of the total school the total school the average age is equal to 11 years and 9 months that means 11 3 by 4 years 11 9 by 12 which gives you 11 3 by 4 years you have to find out 
the number of girls in the school so here also when the boys and girls are combined together you will be getting the total number of students in the school so you can easily apply the principle of allegation and the total is also given total number of students is equal to 600 so from that you have to find out the number of girls so 12 and 11 12 is the average age of boys and the average age of girls is equal to 11 it is equal, when combined to that it is giving 11 3 by 4 so 11 3 by 4 is the average so 11 3 by 4 minus 11 3 by 4 is the difference and 11 3 by 4 and 12 the difference is 1 by 4 so the ratio is 3 is to 1 so let the number of boys is equal to x and let the number of girls is equal to y so x by y is equal to 3 by 1 we are asked to find out y number of girls is what you have to find out so y will be equal to 1 by 4 into 600 so 150 will be the number of girls so there are 150 girls in the school so the principle of allegation whenever you read a question it should come into your mind the principle of allegation can be applied here so you can very easily apply the principle of allegation and within minutes you can find out the answer thank you for watching